sun is shining 24 7. In this fourth video of the Fun Accountants Bank Reconciliation series, I'm going to take you through Sage Banking from start to finish using a real life example. Because when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If a bitch. I'm going to show you how to process a bank account and then finish the function of a bank reconciliation. If you are new to the channel and you are wondering what you have missed in the previous three videos, check out our bank reconciliation series playlist. Make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling. Never felt so real. My heart is on the table because you're my everything. I'm doing the books for a client when I am met with this bank statement and also 23 more months of similar type of bank statements of this savings account which only has one transaction per month and that of interest received. Although it appears fairly simple to deal with this, I am left with a choice. I could import these 24 months bank statements into Sage Accounting or I could capture them as I need to catch up on two years of accounting entries. It seems like a simple no-brainer choice, but what would you do if there is only one transaction per month per bank statement? Well, if you decide on the route to import the bank statement, the steps taken would be something like this. Download the bank statement, upload it to Dext, where it is converted to an Excel spreadsheet, Download the spreadsheet and do the previous three steps 23 times. Then combine the 24 statements into one Excel file. Check the balances and ensure that it agrees with the bank statement. Amend and adjust the Excel spreadsheet to prepare it for the CSV import into Sage Accounting. Upload the CSV file to Sage Banking and troubleshoot any errors that may occur during the import process. Then categorize the bank transactions, set up a rule for the automatic processing of the other 23 transactions, and lastly, perform the bank reconciliation on Sage Accounting. Alternatively, you can take the bank statement and process each monthly transaction manually on Sage Accounting. Hopefully you will recognize that there are situations where the importing of bank transactions, which I am so in favor of, will actually take longer than to simply capture the bank transactions manually from the bank statement. There is a certain pivot point where the number of bank transactions determines your processing preference. You can actually choose to rather manually capture the bank transactions instead of importing them. I have no set rule for this, but in general, for me, the tipping point is five transactions. If there are more than five transactions on a bank statement, I prefer to import rather than capture, simply because it will be quicker and easier to do. This bank statement having only one transaction meets my preference for manually capturing. I'm going to show how I process this transaction quickly, manually on site accounting. The bank balance must be reconciled and I'm going to show you how to do it. I am logged into Sage Accounting's workspace. From here you go to the Bank Transactions Processing. From the top navigation menu by clicking on Banking down to Transactions which will reveal the menu on the right. Choose Banking select the relevant bank account. I would like to see if this transaction was not already captured in the accounting system and to view captured transactions, you select the review transactions button. Enter the starting date in the display from field and the end date in the to field to display the bank transactions already captured and reviewed. You will notice I have stated the to date field even beyond the bank statement period as the 30th of April 2022 to make 100% sure that there were no transactions captured. 
click on the refresh button to execute our selections. The last transaction captured was on the 7th of June 2021. It is safe to start capturing the bank transactions that is on the bank statement starting on the 12th of June 2021. To start capturing, we are going back to the new transaction screen. Although it is possible to capture transactions in the review transactions as well, I shall rather keep to the laid out steps in sites for charity purposes. The banking grid layout is similar to a spreadsheet. It consists of column headings at the top and rows beneath it where transactions can be entered or filled during the import process. All that you need to do is to complete each field from the bank statement provided. I'm going to display the bank statement on the screen while we process the transaction to make it easy for you to follow along with me. In the first field on the left, under the date column, you enter the transaction date as it appears on the bank statement. You can skip the payee field because it is bank interest from the bank we are processing the transaction from. Enter the description of the transaction, in my case interest. Under the type column, leave the entry field as account, which is the default selection in this stage for allocating the transaction to a general ledger account, because bank interest received is not a customer, supplier, transfer or tax transaction type. In the selection field you select the appropriate category income general ledger account from the drop down list and hopefully interest received is already created. Yes, there it is. The next field requires a unique reference for this transaction. I normally enter the transaction date and the number count of the transaction for that day. You fill in the amount received from the bank statement in the received column. The REC field is the abbreviation for reconciled. You can tick the box now because the transaction agrees with the bank statement but I'm going to leave it for later when I perform the bank reconciliation. I'm not going to fill in anything under the rest of the actions field because this is not a complex customer or supplier transaction or a transaction that needs to be splitted. If you would like more information about these action fields, watch my video about bank processing of customer receipts. Also note that this business is not registered for value added tax and therefore the tax type option is not available in the banking processing. I've completed all the necessary fields and will save my work before I proceed to the bank reconciliation. You can find the Reconcile Banks and Credit Cards link also at the top navigation menu bar under Banking and I'm going to open it. In the Bank Account field, select the appropriate bank account from the drop-down list. The Balance field below it is completed automatically and it is the Accounting Bank Balance. In the From Date field, enter the starting date of the bank reconciliation as well as the end date of the reconciliation in the to date field. Obtain the bank statement balance and enter the balance from the bank statement in the statement balance field. At the bottom there is a difference amount because the transaction that I have entered has not been reconciled yet. The unreconciled transaction is displayed in the center area of the reconciliation screen and you reconcile it by ticking the checkbox under the reconciled column. Click on the print button to save a bank reconciliation report on your computer. When you open the bank reconciliation report, it displays everything needed as proof that the three balances agree with each other and they are the closing bank statement balance, the reconciled bank balance originating from what I just did, 
and the computer bank balance is the balance per my accounting records and of course the difference should be zero going back to the reconcile banks and credit cards function I always end it off by saving my work now you have seen how to manually enter a bank transaction in Sage accounting and also how to reconcile the bank account I hope it is clear to see how easy it is to use Sage Accounting's banking function when you only have a few transactions per month. If you are able to do this process and bank reconciliation yourself as a business owner, your books will be accurate, valid and complete. I have provided a link in the description below if you want to try out Sage Accounting for free for 30 days, no obligation. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon.